Little Orphan Airedale is so much like a similar cartoon that I genuinely thought I'd seen this. I was watching it and I thought this is kind of familiar. And yeah, there are other cartoons where Charlie tries to get Porky to adopt him and they are actually very similar. However, I think this one's one of the earlier ones. So technically it's not similar to the other ones. It's the other way on. This was released in 1947, directed by Chuck Jones and written by Ted Pierce and Michael Maltese. And we have Mel Blanc voicing everybody, including Charlie and uh, Porky Pig, of course. And Charlie wants to live the good life and wants Porky Pig to adopt him so that he can have a doting master. And he goes through various tricks trying to persuade Porky Pig to try and adopt him. And I won't say any more than that. I won't go into the specifics of what happens. I can't remember the other cartoons with Charlie and Porky Pig exactly. So I can't say if the exact same things were deployed. But generally the feeling is, is very similar to the extent, as I said, where I was thinking maybe I've seen this and I forgot to mark it off on my list. But no, I hadn't. It's just very similar. But because it came first, to the best of my knowledge, it's not really fair to say it's a copycat of the others. In itself, it's probably one of the earlier versions. And it's fine. I think Charlie is a, well, sometimes likeable. Sometimes I don't care for him. I never hate the character, but sometimes I feel like he's maybe a little bit too annoying. And also I'm a big Porky Pig fan, so any character who annoys Porky Pig is not always going to be in my good books. It's not a bad cartoon. There is nothing wrong with it. There's nothing specific that I would have wanted to see you know, done differently or anything specific that I would have wanted to have included. But it's not one that I particularly loved. I didn't care for it that much. And even if I kind of forget the fact that it's similar to others that I've seen, acknowledging that this maybe came first, it just wasn't that interesting. Charlie is not a character that I love. So I wasn't too bothered about the outcome and, and whatever would eventually happen to this character. Porky Pig was not too bad. We had a mix of backdrops and then several different locations. So it was engaging enough. It's just never going to be a favourite. 